maintaining your permanent resident status if you have to leave Canada. So when people become Canadian citizens, the first step is to become a permanent resident. It's kind of like a halfway step between being a citizen and not have any ties to Canada at all. As a permanent resident, you have certain rights, which is fantastic. You can live or work or study anywhere in Canada. You don't need a special permit for it. You can obtain social uh, benefits and you know health care, that kind of thing. You can apply after a certain time for your Canadian citizenship and you have protection under Canadian law. But what happens if you have to leave the country during that period? As a permanent resident, or, or PR status as it's sometimes referred to, as a permanent resident you have certain obligations you have to have. People in terms of the government don't want you applying to be a Canadian citizen and have you just spend all your time abroad. As a general starting point, as a general principle or rule, you have to be in Canada for 730 days, that's 730 days within a five year period and you have to prove, you're the one who has to prove, that you were in Canada for 730 days of, in a five year period in order to maintain your per permanent resident status. Otherwise, you can lose it. Now, it doesn't have to be continuous 730 days. You can do you know, a month here, a month there, a month here, a month there, five months here, any combination, so long as you have that total days. But again, remembering, you have to prove it. So you've got to keep track of it because if you're asked, it's no one else's obligation or responsibility to prove that you've been in, in the country. There's also some exemptions to that rule. So if you go and leave the country with your spouse who's a Canadian citizen, then that time is considered to be uh, in Canada. There's a number of exemptions and if you need help with that, talk to an immigration lawyer because they can help you to ascertain the time. And ascertaining is important because the burden is on you. I cannot stress that enough to prove your time in Canada in order to maintain your permanent resident status. Now, there's no, in terms of proof, there's no definitive way of proving. It's not like a checklist where you have to have this, this, or this. It could be documentation, plane check uh, records, um, uh, your own notes of when you're in and out of town, you know, appointments you've had here or there. Anything that you can show to prove that you are, have met the standard is what you're going to need. You don't want to ever be in a position where you're unable to prove it and you end up losing your permanent resident status and you stop your ability to become a Canadian citizen.